Good morning everyone. Welcome to Tasmania and welcome to beautiful Bruni Island which is about 40 minutes south of the capital city of Hobart and we came here a couple of days ago and I thought I'd take this opportunity while we're on Bruni instead of just making a video about stock photography I thought I'd do a, a vlog. A couple of my subscribers suggested just doing a vlog while I was in Tassie and I think it's a great idea. We've driven to this beautiful stone cottage on the island of Bruni and it's really remote. It's in the middle of the forest and it's surrounded by birds, trees and wallabies. Anyway, let's give you a tour of this place and give you a little taste of what Bruni Island is all about. Spending the last 20 years or so in Europe has really got me acclimatized to the noises of civilization and uh, just millions and millions of people being around me and uh, coming here I wake up in the morning and the only sound I hear is the birds it's just so different I hear the kookaburras in the background. We're here for three nights and even though the weather is overcast, I think it's just exactly what I needed, just to be sitting in the trees and in the peace and the quiet and the nature. It's like, uh, I think the Japanese call it some kind of bath or treatment when you're just in the trees but uh it's really peaceful and relaxing so walking up here to see if i can see any wallabies uh, they've been around it's pretty late in the morning now i think it's around 9 30 and they oh i see a, a rufus wallaby or a paddy melon wallaby up there We'll see if we can get some shots of that. I didn't want to get too close to the little Rufus wallaby or padamelon as others call them. When we first arrived here, there was dozens of kang uh, wallabies around and they're wild still so they just come here to eat on the grass and uh, they live in the bush so you can't get too close to them you don't want to disturb them too much anyway let's uh, walk down the garden path and we've rented this car you may think wow you can afford to rent a car like that no, I can't. <laughs> For some reason, the, uh, the car rental company upgraded us uh, to this. And I'm really thankful that they did because we've got just so much gear, four people. And uh, you know what the families are like. They <laughs> like to bring everything plus the kitchen sink. So it only just managed to fit into uh, the car with all of the food for three days. But it's been great. Uh, we can take this car anywhere we want on the island. We've only got it for another four days. So after that, I'll be relying on lifts from my mum or public transport. But uh, we're just making the most of it while we have it. And I'll take you down the road that we come up So we're on this road that just winds through the uh, trees, 
for about a kilometer before you come to the, the house. And I was just having a walk down here yesterday and there were about five kookaburras going through the trees. And it's like a bunch of hooligans moving through a town. They're just so noisy. And I went back inside the house and I saw one of the kookaburras perch on one of the trees here. And it dived down on the ground and got something and then just flew back up into the trees again. And I got my camera and I just walked towards it till about 25 meters. And I managed to photograph it as it dived onto the ground. And for some reason, I think it was just had been raining. So all the worms had been coming to the top of the, the soil. And this kookaburra had seen one and grabbed one in its mouth. And I managed to get a photo of the kookaburra with this worm in its mouth. So I was really delighted with that. You can just sit here for hours and watch nature moving around you. Anyway, today we'll head off. You'll, uh, I'll take you guys along with us so you can see a bit more of beautiful Bruni Island. My son and I have just come down to the beach to have a look around and it's beautiful and peaceful and calm and uh, got some nice landscapes here. When you were so uh, flat calm here, you can see everything under the water. Yep. And a crab. There's a crab. Oh my god. I can't grab it. It's too rocky. Got a hermit crab here crawling along the bottom. It's probably one of the few places you can just come down to the beach and just find dozens and dozens of naturally growing mussels and oysters. I didn't bring my hat, so I have to put this over my head. Five minutes in the sun here and you're starting to roast. But um, behind me, we've found some weed and some branches lying on the ground. And yesterday when we were on the beach, I found a block of wood lying on the beach. And I know from experience that if you turn these things over, you can find all kinds of creepy crawlies. Yesterday we found a Tasmanian scorpion, which was delightful for everyone to see. So uh, we're going to have a look under these things and see if we can find something interesting as well. Yep, let's have a look under this branch. Nothing so far. We've got a piece of dried kelp here, so there might be something interesting living under that. Just lift it. There's lots of lice in there. Lots of sea lice. They eat that. Yeah, the scorpions love eating them, I think. And then here, just hope it's not a snake. No, nothing so far. No scorpions or spiders, but we did find a big wallaby bone. We've found something else that's really interesting, and it's a skull. Wow. Oh, it has the teeth in it. That's uh, judging from the front teeth, and these oh. teeth in the back. It's a small, either a patamelon wallaby or a uh, Bennett's wallaby. One thing I've noticed about the environment down here at Bruni is there's no plastic pollution or very little. I've walked along here and this is pretty much the only piece of plastic pollution I've found so far in the few days that I've been here and walking along the beaches. So that is pretty 
impressive. I know the Tasmanians do like to keep their environment clean, but uh, it's real proof that either recycling is working or they're doing a good job of cleaning the water up in the rivers and the beaches. I found a really nice shell here. So I'm not sure what species it is, but uh, pretty impressive. What kind of crab is that? I don't know. Well, that was our little trip to the beach to see what was in the rocks. It wasn't really a beach. It's more a rocky uh, shoreline. Uh, there's plenty of white beaches here on Bruni, so we'll be checking them out. That's the end of part one. In the next video, we're going to go to, or try and go to, a place called Cloudy Bay, which is a real wilderness area, a bit different to here. Uh, it's totally wild and remote. And down there, there's a massive beach. It's, I think it's a surf beach as well. And behind it is a lagoon. So we're going to check out Cloudy Bay. Stay tuned for part two. i